Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel after a several day break. I was just way too tired to make more videos. Sorry about that. Um, also, if you can see, I'm getting another one of those little bumps on my eye that acts like a pimple and I'm, I assume that's what it is, but I'm not really, maybe it's just like an infected hair follicle or something, but until this goes away, no makeup. So, hi. Um, oh, speaking of hi, how are you? Uh, let's start off this video by saying I absolutely love Jeffree Star's picture. We're having a little coffee. That he put, I saw it on Twitter, but I assume it's on Instagram as well. Where he had this cute jacket that kind of looks like those wrappings that they put around those Japanese pairs, the round ones. And he says, who wore it better? Oh my God, it totally had me rolling. And I needed that because, you know, we've had some interesting news lately. One of the things that is, it's hard to hear about, but also um, really good news is that Jeffrey Epstein has been arrested again for sex, wow, okay, for sex trafficking. You can tell I'm upset because I'm stumbling on the words. Oh, if you have coffee, clink, or tea, clink. If you don't, I'll wait. I'll do an I Dream of Dini dance. Um, so anyway, um, I hope you got your, your coffee. Let's go back to it and clink. For anyone who's just joining me back. I'm telling you I love coffee. At least once a week I tell myself I'm, I'm going to give up coffee. You can see how well that's gone. Okay. So Jeffrey Epstein did do a weird sentence already in Florida. Florida. Uh, where he got to leave prison every day for 18 hours. So it was just like he would go sleep there and that was it. Um, so I, I hope that he really gets what's coming to him this time. I know they've raided his place and found a lot of pornography. I hope they've also been finding a lot of evidence for the people who have he wasn't just sex trafficking these girls for himself. He made a lot of money sex trafficking these girls to other very powerful men. And I hope every one of them gets exposed. I don't care who they are. Every fucking one of them. So, boom. That's how I think about that. Um, yeah. Enough of this impunity for people who hoard money. I'm done with it, I'm done. They lie, cheat, and steal their way to riches, and we're all supposed to admire these people. I don't think so. Um, staying just really briefly with the political stuff, because I do care about that quite a bit, and I can't pretend I don't. This is my channel, so I can't pretend there are parts of my life that, that I don't care about. That I care about this for all of us, not just for myself or for my group, so to speak. Although, really, I, I don't think I have a group. I don't consider myself conservative or liberal. Um, I'm 100% progressive, but I don't think that either that the liberals have progressivism correct. So, um, That's for another story. If you want to hear what my views are about that, let me know. I will let you know. Um, <clears throat> the uh, On the census, they're trying to put a citizenship question, and they, the courts keep striking it down, and now they've told them. Excuse me, that was coffee burps. Now they've told them. They've asked for a switch of lawyers, the team, you know, that's requesting the, the question, and the courts were like, Try again, bozos. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Bernie Sanders has done, like, maybe the most brilliant thing he's ever done. Which is to make a website where 
he lists all the people who have anti-endorsed him, who hate his guts. And I have not entirely gone through the list. I, I have perused the first few. And honestly, with people like that as your enemies, you, you're you on the right track. I, I always say that if certain people are unhappy with the way I'm acting, I know I'm acting correctly. So go Bernie. Bernie 2020, in case you were wondering who my endorsement goes to, we are straight Bernie in this house. I won't be voting for anyone else in 2020. I don't care, and I think I've said this on the channel, if I have to write his name in, I will be writing it in. Bernie is my dude, and I implore everyone to do the same. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, Trump's mad about stuff, but he's always mad about stuff. Um, oh, Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan is, I swear to God, the biggest coward that has ever existed in America. Sorry, but I was feeling a little something there. He is such a coward. And he straight up admitted that resigning his position was just an escape hatch to get out of the Trump uh, administration so he didn't have to deal with what was coming because he clearly knows something is coming. So he could have stayed and fought that man, but no, nah, no, nah, no. Let's just duck and run. We've done everything we can to destroy the dreams of the American people. And, there, and he's done that. If you don't know enough about him, look him up. The ways that he has tried to demonize old people taking advantage of their social security by calling it an entitlement. And he's not the only one. Of course it's an entitlement. You paid for that shit out of your fucking wages. It's your money. You are entitled to it. Calling it an entitlement is just a fact, not a bad thing. So that's just one thing paul ryan is seriously a complete douchebag so there's that okay so into um oh i did want to say also that bernie and uh alexandria casio cortez excuse me are co-sponsoring a bill to or they're declaring that climate change is, I don't have it in front of me, it just popped in my head. So I don't actually have this in front of me. That's just, uh, that they're saying it is um, an eminent threat. And I think they're proposing legislation. Get behind them. Uh, if you don't know what ResistBot is, let me introduce you. You can use it on Facebook or you can tweet to ResistBot or um, text to ResistBot resist bot so look it up on whatever social media you're on you can very simply and easily and 100 percent free contact your representatives and they will send the letters and the whole nine yards actually they usually send electronic faxes so that way uh it doesn't cost them anything and if you use it on facebook i know it doesn't cost them anything so check out resist bot please 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 contact your elected officials and vote What is happening in America right now is distressing. I cannot abide the things that are being done in my name and I hope that you cannot either. So join me and fight, be the resistance, be the resistance. So now there is on that same subject of liberals and stuff, there's a hilarious story. It is about a pastor got it right here on the computer his name is mark taylor and he's of course so far 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 to the right so to the right my fingers can't touch him and he is he believes he's a prophet so he's he is directly telling you what god wants and on tuesday he basically came out and said that the left is using weather to and let me get this straight um as a punishment from the Illuminati against the state of Louisiana. Whew. 
Wow. And this is, wait, let me get to his quote. You've got to remember what is abortion, the sacrificing of kids. What does that sacrifice do? Abortion is the food source for bail. B-A-A-L. Bail being the strong man over America. That's what empowers bail. You're taking bail's food source and he's not liking it. So that is retaliation from the enemy that I would say is in the form of the heartbeat bill. So now, liberals are in league with this bail entity. I'm going to have to look him up. And um, we are making the weather happen because we want abortions to feed bail. I don't even know what to say about that. That is like the most hilarious thing I have ever heard in my life. Okay. Um, in a little bit of sad news, um, the woman who played Violet Beauregard in uh, Willy Wonka, um, she had a stroke and her name is Denise Nickerson. She had a stroke and they have taken her off of life support. Um, I have not heard what has happened yet. Um, and when that does happen, my heart will go out to her family. Um, who doesn't love Willy Wonka and seeing her blow. She's the one that blew up into the blueberry. Um, and I, all I wish for her is peace and for her family to have a smooth transition as she makes her journey to whatever her next incarnation will be. I, I don't know the rules, this planet or another, or even another sphere of consciousness. I do not know. Uh, we, will, we do not know. Uh, we'll find out when we find out, right? Okay. So that, I guess, is really all I could think to talk about today. Um, I will leave the last links to the last two stories. Um, everything else is pretty widely reported everywhere. So just Google Paul Ryan or Supreme Court or citizenship question or kids in cages, any of that. So, which I didn't particularly like say those words in this video until now, but you know when I say we have a crisis in this country, that is one of the things I'm talking about. So, I am going to finish making some treats for my clients, which are gonna be ice cream sandwiches. And also I've got some cinnamon rolls in there that a specific client is coming to pick up later. And I'm going to tomb, I'm going to raid some tombs today. I'm going to be Laura Croft for the rest of the day and kick some uh, booty. Uh, I've not had to kill a lot of humans yet. I'm playing Underworld. I don't know if any of you are gamers, but I really, really am. And I am playing the Tomb Raider right now and enjoying it. You know, my fan is on right now and I'm just noticing that it is on facing you right now. So, I, my bad, and I hope that's not too loud for you, but it is warm, and I've been baking, so, um, and I have my hair down, so it's warm. I'll be pulling that back up as soon as we get done with this video. One last sip of coffee together. Clink! Have a great day.